ESPN, your total sports network, presents College Soccer 81. Today, the national championship game between the Bulldogs of Alabama A&M and the Huskies of the University of Connecticut. You are looking live at Palo Alto, California, Stanford Stadium, where this afternoon the National Collegiate Soccer Championship game will be contested between the University of Alabama A&M and the University of Connecticut. It is a sun-kissed day in Palo Alto, contrasted by the fogginess that had set in yesterday. I'm Kevin Slate, along with John Best. John, Connecticut and Alabama A&M present very contrasting styles of play for this championship game. Yes, very much so, Kevin. The Connecticut team, as we saw yesterday in the semifinal, very strong, physical, good defensive team, combined with some strong shooting power. And, of course, then you look at the Alabama A&M team, very fast, skillful forwards. It's quite a matchup. You are looking live at Stanford Stadium, Palo Alto, California. Kevin Slayton along with John Best. Halftime of the National Collegiate Soccer Championship. Alabama A&M leads it one to nothing. We're underway in the second half. Connecticut in white, trimmed in blue. And Alabama A&M in the maroon, trimmed in white. This is Ben Okocha for A&M, sending it for Solomon Schifferaw. He's got the game's only goal, scoring in the first half on a breakaway. John, if you were Connecticut and Coach Joe Maroney, what would you tell your team at halftime? They really were not in the first half. They did not have very many good scoring opportunities at all. No, the Bulldogs' defense really closed them down very well when they were uh, around the penalty area. I think really what they have to do is they have to really have patience in building their attack. When they get around the penalty area, that's the time that they can take on the Bulldog defenders. Not in the, in the midfield area. They shouldn't be running with the ball. They should play, pass it around more openly than they have done. They have been very sloppy at midfield. This is Cornolo now for Connecticut. Crossing nicely for Maroney. Maroney has tied the game! Connecticut immediately ties it. They did just what you said. <laughs> Well, obviously, they're, they're delighted with that, and what a good goal. What a good way to start the second half. Nice piece of interpassing through to Moroni, puts it away very well indeed. The play was certainly set up down in the corner. Cornolo did the job offensively. Here we see him playing the ball forward. The, Al the Alabama defenders coming out. Cornolo is going to knock the ball in here. Moroni running forward from midfield very well indeed. Two touches, puts it into the back of the net. Very well taken goal. Back to the action now. Connecticut in possession. Dorsani on the near sideline. He wants Comrie as he knocks it upfield for him. Arnold Manders defensively there for Alabama A&M. Comrie turning, now sending it back upfield for Carlos. Slides it sideways, nifty move by DeBrito. He maintains possession. He'll shoot it from there. You've got to watch him. Chipped up field by Lyman for Dorsani. This game is over! Dorsanio has ended it for Connecticut player, the national champion. A sensational pass from DeBrito outside to Lyman, who chipped it forward. As you can see, the mad rush from the Connecticut players. Head coach Joe Marino is in that pile somewhere. Dorsanio scoring for just the sixth time this season, and he beat Kevin Hunt to the far post. What a very well taken goal, Kevin. A very good header, which came free from an absolutely excellent cross. The, the Connecticut team built up again very quickly, quick passes. They were able to get in an accurate cross, and there was to Dorsanio. There are the Huskies, very happy down on the field. We're gonna take another look at the winner. The pass came from Jim Lyman as he found Dorsanio using his six foot two inch frame, 195 pounder. There we see Carlos has played the ball out there to DeBrito. Good little piece of individual skill. DeBrito works some space for himself, turns on the ball. You see Lyman fading off to his right hand side, pushes the ball wide to him. Now Lyman has plenty of time, looks up. Beautiful little cross. And who's there? Dorsanio splits the defenders. Finds the bottom corner, great effort by Hunt, but an excellently taken goal. Hunt nearly had it, and I venture to say no other mortal man would have even come that close to getting it. There's now, a there proud man. <laughs> He's very happy. It'll be a happy trip back across the country to Connecticut. Our Vitalis most valuable player, 
Well, we've picked a defender for Connecticut, Eric Myron. He did a splendid job on defense all day long. He didn't score a goal, didn't assist on a goal. You might not read about him in the box score, but he is our MVP, and you can see him there, number 10, hugging his coach, Joe Marino.